Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Rococo Free AI Video Mocha app that y'all wanted me to check out. So with that being said, I recorded a couple of days ago, I recorded some simple motion capture with uh, Taylor. And yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, let's go create a new scene here. We'll just call this Taylor. Create a scene. We're going to select a local video file. And we're going to start with a simple talking mocap. And then what I had her do was actually talk and walk at the same time. Like if you were to give a presentation of some sorts. And let's take a look at take one. And it's going to go ahead and import and upload this footage up in the cloud. I'm guessing everything is done through the cloud. And uh, here's Taylor. Now let's go ahead and press play. She's just kind of chilling, chilling, talking. She's talking about an amazing time she had. About... Something about a clown chasing her around. So that is it. Just standing, talking. All right. So what we'll do is there's a button here called turn into animation. Let's click this. And it's going to say we're starting to process uploading. Man. I can't really read that fast. All right. So now here we are in Rococo Studio. It's done uploading and processing. And the actual Rococo video popped up on my main screen, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And what I'll do is I'll double click this. And again, this is my first time using Rococo Studio, y'all. So if I'm really slow on this UI, please forgive me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this back. And I'm going to superimpose the original video on top of it. So you can kind of see the before and after. So I'll go ahead and press play. All right, so first impression, it's pretty solid, but one of the caveats to this is since it's using only one camera in front of you, you're going to see that her knees are weak, really bent. Um, and in the original video, it was not like that. So one of, this is one of the bad things about only having one camera. Obviously, if we had like one on the side and that would kind of strain that up a little bit more. However, good news, if you are just trying to do say like an OnlyFans that only has like a head and shoulder shot like this, this is definitely usable. It's just from the waist up. Even the head movements are there. So this is really good for head and shoulder, talking, whatever, customer service type of movie, whatever you're making. So that's a good sign. And again, this is absolutely free for now. I don't know if that's going to change. But for head and shoulder, not full body, obviously, this is this is pretty good. It's actually pretty solid. There's not a lot of jitters. You don't see a lot of twitches or anything like that. Like that. So, yeah. This could potentially work for some of y'all, man. This is crazy. All right. And um, what I'll do is I'm going to export this to iClone to see. Because as you all know, I always use iClone with everything I do. It's kind of my bridge. So, I'll go to FBX. And I know for a I'm pretty sure Character Creator 4 iClone don't have a Rococo uh, profile yet. I think they should make one, especially now with this available. So if you're watching this, Relusion, go ahead and make that happen. And my kids are going crazy downstairs, so I'm sorry. So I'm going to FBX this. And we'll go with FBX version 2016. All right, so I will convert it. And that's going to export it. I have already iClone 8. I try exporting a couple of FBXs out of the Rococo Studio, and I'm not able to actually retarget any of them. I tried it in iClone here, which I'll show you right now. Maybe I'm doing something wrong again. This is my first time doing this. I just wanted to check it out. But I tried it in Unreal as well. So in Rococo Studio, I tried Unreal Engine Skeleton, Human IK Mixamo, with and without Body Mesh, with Include Reference Post. But basically, what I was trying to do was I exported Unreal Engine Skeleton, for, for example. I did pretty much all of them. And I'll drag and drop it in iClone here. But it's not finding that profile. But if I load it up, say, as an Unreal based character, it's still not working. So again, I'm going to have to keep an up. I'm going to probably have to make another update 
Um, but I think Relusion, if you're watching this, I suggest you making a profile for a Rococo FBX so that whenever people use Rococo video, they can just drag and drop in here and the mocap will be here, similar to how I do it in the channel. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below if you're able to pretty much get the video AI skeleton retargeted to Unreal Engine, Mix More Maya, um, in iClone or Unreal. Let me know in the comments below. But so far, as far as the solve goes, it's pretty good. But I want to see how it's going to retarget. But yeah, with that being said, go check it out. Go play around with it yourself. Um, and I'm going to try and make an update to this video whenever I figure this out.